Hey, what's up? This is your pad at social media number 74. Let's just get right into it. Hey, what's up? If you say anything bad about anime, I can't guarantee your safety. Now that is a boy that is very serious about his anime. He is very serious. Hey, I'm all for anime. It's cool, right? Anime's fun to watch. It's great, but you should not be stabbing someone over anime. Anime stabbings happen all too much. If someone says a negative opinion about anime, you shouldn't pull a knife on them. That's all I'm saying. Na 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 Batman. Oh, that's just sad. Oh, come on. You know it's not Batman, right? Uncle Ronnie with baby Kara. I just found this picture and it made me interesting to think of how happy happy she looks even though Uncle Ronnie is a homosexual. The girl kind too. But Kara doesn't even notice. I think that's important. Uncle Ronnie, you gay son of a biscuit. This family loves you even if God doesn't. Was that really something you needed to post on Facebook? By the way, Ronnie, God doesn't love you. I don't think you needed to go on Facebook and let everybody know that God doesn't love Ronnie. And I bet you God does love Ronnie, okay? Because God doesn't discriminate. He doesn't give a shit. Bet you God is more progressive than you think. Scared to death, sad face. Someone's trying to break in. Call the police. Someone trying to break in. Oh, need to update my status, lol. Instead of writing this, calling the police might be a smarter choice. I can't get to the phone. You wrote this via mobile. Obviously this person doesn't have anyone breaking into their house, okay? This is a cry for attention. This is a classic Facebook cry for attention. Oh, someone's breaking into my house and everyone's gonna be like, oh my God, what's happening? Oh, are you okay? Obviously, if someone's breaking into your house, you're gonna call 911. Maybe someone is breaking into her house. Some people are just really fucking dumb. So I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, people are so quick to post updates to Facebook. I wouldn't be surprised if that's the first thing that comes to someone's mind. Like, oh no, I've been shot. I better update my status to not having a very good day. All right, now I'll call an ambulance. So yeah, I got so fucking drunk last night and I slept with a 12 year old. What the fuck do I do now? Not post this on Facebook, you fucking idiot. Dude, fucking disgusting. Yeah, you better start running. Really wasn't the best idea to put this out in public, man. Really don't know what to do. I know I'm gonna get hate for this, but I'm trying to explain myself and get help. I'm freaking the hell out because she didn't even look young, but she told me this morning on WhatsApp and I almost passed out. Seriously, just delete the status and talk to her again and sort something out that's not so public. Because you're gonna get so much more hate and people are gonna try and hurt you or something I don't know why the hell you would want people on Facebook to know about this But you're being drunk isn't a good enough excuse in the eyes of the law You've raped a minor again. I don't know why your first instinct was like Facebook update. Hey guys I'm a pedophile now. So just wanted some advice. Let me know what to do What kind of jail sentences did you guys get just want to let everybody know that I am a I'm a sex offender now So he's gonna try to make up excuses, but the fact of the matter is, someone already screenshotted this. You're gonna get some charges, man. You gotta be careful who you sleep with. It doesn't matter if you're fucking drunk. Maybe don't have sex with people while you're drunk then, because it skews your judgment. I'm so tired, but I really want to finish cleaning my room. Might smoke this roach real quick, though, lol. Aren't you pregnant? Your point bang? That's what pisses me off, is that the people that don't deserve to get pregnant, get pregnant. And it's these kind of people that are baby-making machines. It's like, well, I got pregnant again. I wasn't even trying to have sex. I didn't even have sex. I got pregnant. Better smoke this joint real quick because it's going to be real stressful. Hard-boiled eggs are disgusting. I almost died eating one. The crunchy soft mix is absolutely disgusting. It's like eating a ravioli covered with chips. You're supposed to remove the shell laughing my ass off. LMAO. I bet you're a lot of fun at parties. I don't go to parties. Nothing but people having conversations in large groups about stupid politics, sports, or what they recently watched on TV. Or they're dancing. Not that I don't mind dancing, but I don't do it. I just sit in a corner drink my beer, and think of either ideas or how much I want to punch that guy in the face. I don't think he was literally saying you're fun at parties, but you're just kind of proving the point that you're not fun at parties. It's called sarcasm. I know you didn't pick up on it. These murders weigh on my conscience as I take too many showers. I need a woman to hold me, help me forget all my problems. Is this your sad attempt at trying to pick up a woman? This guy clearly didn't murder anyone. Again, you don't, well, you know, with all the other Facebook statuses we saw right now, I wouldn't be surprised if he was actually confessing to murder on Facebook. But this guy is clearly just trying to look like a psychopath. Somehow he thinks it's gonna get him a woman to cuddle him at night. He's trying to look like a badass. It's just another case of Facebook attention. He wants people to be like, oh shit, that guy's such a fucking badass. Look at him, he murdered people. God damn. I want to cuddle him now for some reason. This guy in my political science class was watching a Bob Ross video and falling along with MS Paint. I don't know what you're trying to say with this picture, but that is fucking amazing. You should be commending him. I hope you took this picture like that is a fantastic idea because I'm looking at that and I, I want to do it now. I've actually followed along with Bob Ross before. I bought a canvas and a bunch of paints. It didn't turn out great. I just remember the painting was in my closet back there. This was my Bob Ross painting. How did it turn out? 
Hmm? I followed along. I made a lot of happy little mistakes. Never wearing my tongue ring that says cock teaser to the dentist again. Most awkward conversation ever. Steering lock for sale. Fits all types of steering wheels. We'll keep the thieves away. 15 pounds. <laughs> that will definitely keep thieves away. Uh, nothing like a shit-stained pair of panties to keep people off your back. Sometimes I wear one on my face so people won't look me in the eyes. I made a lot of fucking mistakes in my life, but I gotta admit, my kids are the biggest, bestest mistakes I've ever made. Hashtag drunk post. Hashtag single mom. Hashtag question mark. Let one of them suck on your tit. There's still plenty of milk. Probably never go dry either. Just saying. What the fuck? What the fuck is right? What is going going through people's minds sometimes. He's like, oh, this is gonna get me this girl. Oh yeah, I've always wanted to hook up with a MILF. Here's what I'm gonna say. Something perverted about her children breastfeeding. Mm, yeah. Still plenty of milk in there and just let them, let them do it. Yeah. People are fucked in the head. That's what I've realized through my 30 years of living on this planet is there are a lot of people who are fucked in the head. A lot of people.